Okay everyone, today we're going to be playing with some eco core and Boo and Nicole's mould that they have sent me. Now this is a bit special. I asked for this one specially from them. They very kindly sent it to me and look how beautifully packaged everything is from them. They will send some information on looking after their moulds and I think as well. It's food grade silicon by the way. People have asked me about food grade. Well it's a mould so I don't know why it matters that the silicon is food grade, but it is. The things you make from it are a different matter, of course. So anyway, we've got a little bowl type thing, as you can see, and that is suspiciously the size of a tea light, is it not? And they've sent some little sticky bases to go on it, like so. At least I presume that's what those are for. The little cork bases, and look. So we're going to have glass dome that is proper glass isn't that gorgeous so here we go let's get all these bits out and we'll have a play now this obviously oh that's the way up it goes isn't it so it'll be like be like that it's proper cork that is self-adhesive isn't that wonderful let's decide what we're going to do with our little pot first then now i'm going to pick a nice color this is going to be for me it's going to go next to where i sit so i'm thinking i would quite like what would i like our lounge is gradually getting painted gray white uh we've got red bits hmm i'm thinking like a nice stone effect and white maybe so let's do that so the colour I'll be using is black from Buon Nicole. And look, this is really funny. The label's upside down on this one. <laughs> so this is one of their own pigments and it is meant for these eco type powders. They do have their own brand of eco powder as well. Um, but I tend to favour my eco pour just because it's simpler, because you just mix it with water. <laughs> so for people of little brain like me, that's really handy. Okay, so we've got a little tin mixing bowl to mix it up in here. I'm just going to make sure it's clean because I have had resin in that recently. So there we are. Just use some of my wonder wipes. That will degrease it and everything. And give it a little dry. There we are, so we're all good to go. Now, um, not sure how much of my eco pour this little mould's going to take. First of all, can we have a close look at this mould? Look how soft and squishy that is. Now, the fact that it's food grade, I suppose that will matter. To, I don't know why that matters. The thing, it, the eco pour is is food safe, and the seal and sealing wax that I'll seal it with will be food safe. Um, but I'm using it for a candle holder. So I don't know why it matters if the silicon is. But anyway, it is just for your information. Now, let's uh, let's get some mixed up. So Eco Pour, for anyone who hasn't used it before, it's one of these eco casting powder things. There we are. And it's extremely white, as you can see. I hope the camera is doing that justice now. Like I said, you just mix it with water. Um, here's the packaging so you can see. Eco-friendly casting powder. Brand name is Eco Pour, And you just add water and that's where it's from. Just for you online at UK. I have got a discount code for you on this, by the way. As I am an ambassador for Eco Pour. Right then. I've got some little whisks. Isn't this cute? Cook shop. <laughs> and it was very cheap. So we're going to mix in our water. Now, you are supposed to put in three parts water to ten parts powder. Now, I don't do measuring, as many of you will know. So I just keep adding a bit of water till I get the consistency I want. And that wants to be kind of like a really thick, creamy now, if you put too much water, all that happens is it takes a bit longer to cure. It's not really a major problem. Now, I don't bother sieving it. If I end up with lumps in it, I end up with lumps in it. But to be honest, this stuff mixes really well. So it's not usually an issue at all. It cures really fast as well. Um, generally, it's gone hard within about half an hour. 
there we go nice and creamy um and then just put just a little bit more powder in and then I tend to leave it an hour to demold though because just simply because I want to make sure that it's all well, the moisture's gone out of it and of course at first it might be just that little bit brittle until it is totally and utterly hardened so I leave it a, leave it a, another hour or so and then um, then I'll wax it but really waxing it to seal it or whatever other sealing you use on this stuff, sort of stuff i i I tend to like to leave it overnight if I can. So here we are, look, we're mixing it up. It's a nice, thick, creamy consistency. As you can see, we've not really got any lumps. There's a few bubbles. Yeah, that's kind of goes with the territory. So I'm going to slow down my mixing now, see if we can release those bubbles out. But it's nice and smooth, quite thick, so you don't have to... Uh, don't have to worry about lumps with this particular sort. And we're going to put in, <laughs> if I can get this open, we're going to put in a few drops of the black from Boo and Nicole. And what have I done to my finger? Have I cut myself? I've cut myself. Should have put some gloves on, shouldn't I? What on earth have I cut myself on them? I haven't used anything sharp. Maybe I haven't. This powder is... Oh, non-toxic. You can use it safely with your children if you want some school holiday projects. Um, oh, this is going to be a nice shade of grey. You know what? I'm going to leave it like that. I'm not going to stir anymore. I'm going to get like a nice mottled effect, aren't I? Maybe a bit of marbling. I don't know. It's vegan friendly as well for those of you that that sort of thing matters to. Looks like I wasn't fair off, far off with my guesstimating. Uh, yeah, so, and the other things that they do is they, the other thing that they do, the um, ladies from Just For You Online, who produce this stuff for us, um, they are involved with that plant a tree scheme. So they try to, all the packaging tends to be recycled and recyclable and... All that sort of thing. There's a, there's a real sort of social conscience going on with these ladies. And they also do that plant a tree scheme thing. So the one thing they can't really be quite so eco about is their deliveries. Because obviously they've got to get it to you somehow. So they do what they can. And that does involve the plant a tree scheme, which is rather awesome. They, you know, to offset the carbon footprint of the delivery. So if that makes sense to you all, that is something helpful to know. That's great. Now I've mixed this up way too thin. <laughs> and it's going to be our bottom layer, which I'd intended to do white, but I've gone and put colour in it. And oh dear, I'm not concentrating. You know, I'm sure I used to be able to multitask. <laughs> anyway, we'll have a plain grey bottom layer. The other colours might merge anyway. The, uh, the first layer. Who knows? We'll soon see. Anyway, there we go. So I'm going to chuck... I'm very, I'll end up with too much of this now. So I'm going to chuck what's left into something else. Don't know what yet. But there we are. Now what we do, just to make sure it... We haven't got bubbles trapped in there. We do a bit of tapping and it's worth doing that a bit as well. And hope for the best. So there we are. I'll see you in half an hour or so and we'll see if this is actually cured. And my little craft room was blue and glitter so fine. I'm a YouTuber crafting master ready to shine. Got my acre pour and a mold from my creation. But once I start, it's like an itch I can't resist the temptation Pour in the resin, watch it flow in its glory But my fingers start twitching, it's a familiar story I take a toothpick, start poking Can't leave it alone, gotta fix that air bubble Gotta make it perfect, don't you know? My creation needs my touch, it's calling out to me I'm a crafting maniac, can't resist the urge to meddle Sometimes I wonder if I'm more a crafter or a devil
okay, we're demolding. Oh, I am so glad I stopped stirring. That is the best marbling I've ever done. <laughs> Looks like I did get a couple of little bubbles trapped around here, but nothing major, and I, you know, I can live with that. I don't think I'm going to bother waxing it. It's not going to get wet, is it? So, the little globe, which I've managed to get dirty somehow. <laughs> Oh, and it just sits straight on there. That is adorable. I've got a battery tea light. I'll, I'll do some photos with a proper one later because as I haven't used resin, of course, that's okay. Oh, that's cute. Just look at that. Pleased with that. Right, if you like this video, folks, please do give me a thumbs up. You know what to do. The buttons are all down here. Um, and I think I'm going to go and check on the Boo and Nicole website because I'm pretty sure you can buy these globes and the little bases separately. Um, so I shall be investing in a load because I'm going to make a load of these. I really am. That is adorable. Right, we've just got to stick the base on it, haven't we? So let's see how sticky these bases are. Like I said, if I was going to wax it, that's that. Oh, that's ever so sticky. If I was going to wax it, I would um, leave it 24 hours anyway, because I don't want to be sealing damp in, do I? Well, that's perfect. That is just perfect. What a lovely finishing touch. There we are. Absolutely adorable. So, yes, I will put you all the links for everything down below. Coming up here any minute now will be the QR code for those of you watching on telly, so you can scan it um, to take you to the Boo and Nicole website where you can get this mould and to the Just For You Online website where you can get the actual uh, eco pour. So thanks everyone for watching and I will take some photos of this in the dark later <laughs> and I'll see you for the next one. Take care then. Bye.